Virgo. Hey, my love, love, lovies. Welcome back to another video. Virgo, say my love. Hey, hey, my love. Hey, hey, my love. I hope you guys are doing well today. Hey, y'all, hey. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what the angels want to tell you on today. What should be your focus? Then we'll tap into your surrounding energy and clarify with the tarot. Let's see what spirit wants to tell you. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. And I hope you all are doing well. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes, guys. We have been sharing more. We've been Our likes have been going up. I love you guys so much. Thank you. And don't forget to check out our spiritual store for your spiritual healing bracelets. I have some new bracelets that I made for you guys. I feel like you guys have to check them out and let me know what you think. There's a lot more in stock. So let's see. We got the rose quartz. We got the zebra stone. We got the amethyst. We have so much more, guys. So don't forget to check it out and see what spiritual bracelets you like. We also have spiritual bracelets for guys. You look for your bracelets the same place you book your personal readings at Closer. The number two, mydestiny.com. We're also on Etsy. And you can find all of our information and all of our links in the About tab. Okay? Thank you guys for the brief church announcement. Let's get into it. Spirit, thank you for giving us victory in every situation we may face. Abundance and overflow. Blocking and binding all negative energy entities, witchcraft, wickedness that may be coming up against this channel or our life. Thank you so much for victory in every situation we may face and abundance and overflow healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Amen. Amen. And amen. Let's get it, Virgo. So what we're working with today is the overall energy, goddess of the shadows. It says what you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure. Okay, so I feel like some of you guys, um, you may be sleeping on your gifts here. Um, some of y'all may be feeling like it's dark. A lot of you, especially if you are able to read cards or your empath or you're into tarot, a lot of us are raised to feel like sometimes that that is witchcraft or that is not good. However, spirit is in all things. God is in all things and he has a way of using your gifts for good, Okay. You can't listen to man when God is directing you to something else. There's billions of people on YouTube and online that need help. There's more than enough money and everybody can eat. You feel what I'm saying? So whatever your calling is, whatever spirit is trying to do in your heart, don't be afraid to pursue that. Now, am I saying rely solely on outsources and things like that? No, you rely solely on God, which is source, spirit, the divine, the universe. All right. And they will lead you to where you need to be. It's not for everybody, but don't sleep on your gifts. And sometimes you can just help people without using cards. Maybe you're a prophet. Maybe you're here to speak life into people. You're a natural healer already. You're an empath. You know when there's a need. So spirit is telling you to embrace your gifts, embrace the differences. You are perfectly imperfect. And I feel like God definitely wants you to embrace that Virgo. So let's go ahead and get into the other part of the message. Next, your angels are here to bring you strength. Goddess of strength is here to remind you to stand up for what you believe. You will gain respect by holding your ground, okay? So you may not do things like everybody else does. You may have a different motive, um, a different energy. Um, people could be coming up against you, trying to challenge you, trying to tap in. Whatever the case may be, they may be trying to give you a hard time. People genuinely um, have an issue with what they can't understand or if you're going against the grain or if they see that you do things differently. Okay. So spirit is saying, stand your ground, be strong and stand up for what you believe. You know, it's going to earn you the respect that you're looking for. So don't fold Virgo, <laughs> stand firm. Okay. That's basically what that is saying. Um, that's basically what it's telling you. So then we have angel of relaxation, let go of desired outcomes and you will get what you want. So this is set it and forget it, y'all. You already know how I feel about that. It's just like I always say, watching a pot of rice boil, honey. It seemed like it never boils. Rice, noodles, whatever you want to say. Like waiting for it is like it takes longer. When you set it and forget it and come back, it's done before you know it. So that's the same way the universe works with your blessings. Once you put one out there, just Trust that it will happen. Water your seed with your faith and keep going, walking in the power as if it's already done, okay? Free game, all right? That's what it is, okay? 
this is a um, good message. This is going to bring a lot of healing and acceleration. That's exactly what this channel stands for. So let's get into it, okay? Goddess of sacred power. You are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. So this could be anything, work, love, or life, but whatever it is, you're being encouraged to take a leading role, okay? You're being encouraged to take the lead, do what your um intuition is guiding you to do, trust your gut feeling, okay? That's what you're being led to do in this particular situation. Also, trust in the divine. So I'm feeling like with this stand up for what you believe for some people, um, I feel like you know how it is when you are wanting to do something, you know it's going to work, you really feel like it's going to work, but you're doubting yourself because of what you think other people might think about it. All right, Spirit is saying be strong, be bold in your faith and step out on faith. If it's something that adds to your life, something that will better you, something that will elevate you and also especially if it helps others, just believe in yourself and give it a shot. You never know until you try, right? So I was moved to tell somebody that on today, okay? So this is the current energy. Let's see if there's anything else Spirit wants to give you regarding this energy. We're going to tap into the tea leaf card and see what comes out for you. See if there's anything else you need to know surrounding this energy of being strong, okay? Let go of desired outcome. All right, so this is saying warning you of a problem either now and in the near future, okay? So I feel like maybe this is where you need to stay in your ground, possibly. This just popped out, but let's, let's, let's put it back in and shuffle some more. All right, so now they're popping out, so I'm not going to put it back in, okay? So this is saying protection from a powerful friend. All right, so it could be somebody that you definitely need to stand up to. We heard, we see stand up for what you believe in is here. All right, and then you're being encouraged to take a leading role. All right, so I feel like spirit is definitely encouraging your heart right now. Somebody can make you feel threatened or make you feel bothered. Maybe not even threatened, but just, you know, trying to stop you or it's something here where somebody is trying to challenge you or something like that. And I feel like if you have to be protected from somebody, it's not a friend. So this is a friend of me. All right. Somebody that masses themselves as a friend, but they really don't have your best intention at heart. The good news is you're protected. Okay. So you're protected from this person. All right. So we're going to set that here. Then we have pay attention to your work. So there could be something going on in the workplace that you need to pay attention to. People could be trying to backstab you in the workplace, whatever the case may be, but stay focused um, and stay grounded. I feel like pay attention to your work for somebody here. All right. Somebody could be dealing with an older man. Let's see what else is here. What else is here, spirit, for Virgo? Let's see what else. What else? Anything else for Virgo? All right. So this is, all right, we're going to stop right there, y'all. So. It's saying a bird is flying, news is on the way. So you're about to hear some type of news. Maybe you've been waiting to hear somebody get back to you, but news is on the way about a situation. So those of you who have been waiting for something, for somebody, it's about money. For somebody, somebody was supposed to do some work for you or do something for you. It's a collaboration and they're going to get back to you today. All right. If not today, sometime this week, within the next couple of days, you already know, like my readings, they usually it's between now and within 48 hours. So a lot of times, if it hasn't already happened, all right, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So I feel like there's a need for you to pay attention to your work, pay attention to what's going on around you. I feel like somebody could be very sneaky. All right. But at the same time, you're protected and you're more powerful, clearly, if they see you as a threat. So stand in your power, Virgo. That's all you really need to do. And your angels are here protecting you. Okay. Providing you what you need to get through these situations. All right. Under the bottom of the deck, we have June could be significant for somebody. And we also have an angel here also providing protection. And also it's all kinds of lovely things around this angel has their hands open. So I feel like there's some type of blessings that have been coming in for you during the month of June into July and August. June is significant for somebody here. Okay. You could be dealing with somebody. Um, whose birthday is in June, or maybe June is when all of this started taking place, something about June, okay? So let's see. Let's go ahead and move on. We're going to put these cards to the side. Let's get your overall energy, Virgo, and see how you're feeling and what energies might be surrounding you. We're also going to see what could be on your mind or what could be blocking you today. 
Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides for my amazing, loving Virgos. Show me clear messages about their overall energy. What is surrounding my Virgos today? What's the surrounding energy for Virgo? Wish fulfillment. Oh, we like that. See you seeking your purpose. Some of you are standing in your power, talking to spirit, connecting with the divine, manifesting, okay? Asking God, you know, what is my purpose? What am I here to do? For a lot of you, if you are driven to get a reading, I can look into that for you. Um, again, the website is closer to number two, mydestiny.com, and I'll be happy to do your reading. For those of you who are waiting for your reading, lovies, I will have your readings today if they're due today. If they're not due today and you're booking today, you'll have your reading by tomorrow, okay? See what else? A leap of faith, freedom, okay? So somebody is feeling free. I'm feeling like you're standing in your power. You really, really are. Your spirit guides are here to assist you also, I feel like they are here to help lead the way. You have your wish fulfillment coming in. I feel like they're also here. You know, they pop up in my readings for protection and guidance. I feel like because you have this protection here from a power, powerful friend and whatever is going on in your work situation, I feel like you are being protected. Absolutely. Because somebody is being shrewd. Somebody is being sneaky here. <gasps> something having to do with, excuse me, oh my God, something having to do with business. Okay, something having to do with business and your protection and your spirit guides are right here providing assistance like, oh, baby, we got your back. Okay, they got your back. Okay, while you're here, minding your business and your positive energy, I don't know if you trolloping, galloping, running, or just standing there enjoying your freedom and your space and time. Somebody is so happy to be free. I don't know what is going on. I feel like you just got freed up from something. I mean, I don't know. Children are about to go back to school. I like to look at it like everybody loves their children and spending time with their children. But that could be what this is or freedom from a relationship or just feeling very much stress free right now. You know, but somebody is feeling amazing and your guys are here to protect that energy. Like, yeah, let my Virgo breathe. Let my Virgo live. OK, you're doing really well in your business, to be honest. So these people, whoever has their eye on you, it's because you're doing so well. OK, it definitely is. Closed off and guarded. You be, you could be closed off and guarded to somebody around the workplace or whatever the case may be. I feel like your overall energy is just a bit closed off to people and pretty guarded. Like it's not too bad, but it's just like you protect your energy because you know how sensitive you are. And I feel like not everybody understands that. I see resistance here. So I feel like you're not really wanting to deal with somebody right now. And it could be that person. All right. Whatever the case may be, your guys are here. So no worries there. All right, you will be protected. You got everything you need. So let's see why these cards pop out. Let's see if there's any blockages also. Let's see. The spirit, is there anything that could be blocking Virgo? Wait, first let's clarify these cards. I just got to clarify these cards first. So let's clarify these cards. Oh, what is this on my nail? Oh, I got ink on my nail. I was drawing with the marker. Being creative. I got marker on my nails. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm always doing something. I get up really early. So let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, show me clear messages for my Virgo lovies. What is going on for Virgo? I love these cards. They're so pretty. Yes. Let's see what's going on. Wish fulfillment. So Virgo, I see wish fulfillment here, my lovies. Let's not skip over that. This is talking about a wish being granted, something good happening, and I feel like this is why you feel so good. Whatever this is coming in, this blessing is going to free you up. I feel like it's something that you've been wondering about, worrying about. For some of you, it is definitely money. Somebody is waiting for some money, and I feel like it's been in suspense. That's about to come through to you. Other than that, I feel like you're wishing to know your purpose. You're wish wishing to walk in your purpose, and your guides are here to assist you guide you on your path and also warn you about the things that you need to be closed off to because there is something here and I feel like it has something to do with work over here or people that you work with but news is on the way about something show me wish fulfillment for my Virgo hey my lovies yes justice this is um brightness fairness um, balancing of karma. This is something happening in your favor. So your wishes are going to be fulfilled. If there's a court case or whatever the case may be, this is going to work in your favor. Um, I feel like you're getting a fair judgment in something and somebody is going to be exactly what you wanted. So prepare for that. Show me what else about justice that Virgo needs to know about something working in their favor. 
What else does Virgo need to know about this? Oh, you're going to be celebrating, feeling good. Six of Cups energy. This is um, maybe revisiting the past, something having to do with children, innocence. I feel like everything is going to work out in your favor, okay? Everything is going to, like I told you, somebody is happy about their children, whatever these kids are doing. Justice is for you, wish fulfillment. I feel like somebody is happy their kids are like going back to school or something. Because it's like the lemonade stand. This is all the things that kids be getting into during the summer. Look, they're playing on the lawn and everything. There is kids everywhere. So I feel like somebody could have a lot of kids or whatever the case may be. And somebody is just celebrating. They're happy. Also, they're happy about this fair judgment. Something may be involving kids. Maybe not. It could be just you waiting on money and you're feeling this... Um, this positive, loving, serene energy around you as you celebrate your victory. So there's a victory here, okay? I like it, yes. Somebody could be winning something in business. You could be having a meeting at work or something like that, and it's going to work in your favor. North Node, show me purpose. Hangman. So I feel like you are connecting with the divine. You are taking your time that you need for yourself. I feel like somebody is definitely in suspense here. But I feel like while you're waiting, you're seeking spiritual, um, you're seeking a new perspective. You're using an intuition and you're seeking spiritual guidance. I feel like you're paused. So everything could come to you. It's like you're meditating. You're just relaxing. You're enjoying the peace and you're getting your downloads. You see that? You're getting your downloads, getting stronger. With this card here, it's like you're strengthening yourself with this. Yeah, I see that. And you see the cross in the back. So it's like spiritual guidance. All right. Right. And I feel like there could be death to ego here or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, because this is like, this is a graveyard. But I feel like with the three crosses, this is you. I feel like releasing worry, giving up the whatever this is, is something like that. Wow. Spirit is shining the light on some things for you. I like it. Show me freedom. I love these cards. Show me freedom. Leap of faith for my Virgo. What is this spirit? What does Virgo need to know? Okay, so pause. I need to pull another card on the hangman. Show me what's the outcome of this that Virgo is contemplating on. What is going on here with the hangman energy? See? New beginning. See how it wasn't coming out at first? Spirit was like, wait, go back. So beginnings, independence, I feel like innocence, um, spontaneity, and a free spirit. So somebody is very much a free spirit about to take this new opportunity or a leap of faith here. Somebody is on a new beginning. You're cleansing yourself. You're getting downloads. Somebody is seeking their purpose. It's like, spirit, before I move forward, I want your advice in this. What do I need to be doing? I love it. Somebody is deciding to go on their own here. Somebody is finally ready to embrace their freedom. Somebody is going to get a lot of serene um, energy brought into them. Also, I feel like this serenity I'm, I keep picking up on is the peace. Somebody is going to have some peace here. Um, and I feel like you're going to be by yourself, abundant, doing your own thing. I feel like somebody is definitely self-assured. This is talking about more abundance, a life of luxury, self-sufficient and independent. So something beautiful is going to happen, I feel. Yeah, this is after a tower moment where you had to be strong. After this tower moment, something definitely came down. And I feel like now it's just you. This is at the bottom of the deck. This is what's happening. Why Virgo is single. Why Virgo is by themselves. Why Virgo has all this time to seek their purpose. They're meditating. What brought that on is a tower moment. Something that you walked away from. A big change that you made. And it doesn't have to be bad because this is equaling into good. More abundance, more luxury. Um, peace in your life um, and your spiritual recovery, spiritual awakening, right? So freedom, leap of faith. Yes, let's see for Virgo. Why is it here? Okay, five of wands. It's like you freed yourself from conflict, chaos, competition, ten tension, and diversity. You're freeing yourself from all of that. It's like you're freeing yourself from worry. Everybody who is trying to bring this intense situation up towards you or trying to bother you. You guys are here standing up for you. Absolutely. Show me five of wands. What's the outcome of this? All this adversity that Virgo is experiencing. What's happening with this spirit? What's the outcome for Virgo? Three of wands. 
Ace of Cups. So the outcome is your emotional fulfillment, love, new relationships, compassion, creativity. So you're steady focused on yourself. And I feel like as long as you got your head in the game, long as you keep focusing on you and what you're doing and the things that you want to do, Spirit is going to continue to bless you. All right. With the Three of Wands, you're going to see progress, expansion, foresight, and more opportunities coming for you because you are rising above this bull crap. This is crab in a bucket mentality. People arguing and fighting over crumbs. Like nobody has time for that. I feel like spirit moved you right on the top of this building, right up here. I feel like that's where your health comes from. That's where you crawl to. And you're like, baby, this is all I'm interested in. Virgo, because some of y'all just want to be free. I'm here. I just gotta be free. And that's what you're doing. Like you're focused on your happiness. You're like, I don't have time for the confusion and conflict. Your guys are here making sure of it. They're making sure that you're protected, that you're divinely guided, you know? So let's see what else your spirit guides are here doing. What's the spirit guides here for? What are the spirit guides doing in Virgo's, on Virgo's behalf? What's the spirit guides here for Virgo for? What's happening? These are beautiful cards, Virgo. We got the Three of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the um, Fool card, the Ace of Cups. The Three of Wands, okay? So I feel like this is happy times, joyous. But you still are being protected from some type of powerful friend. It's a friend of me. You don't have to be protected from friends. So divine, show me clear messages about the spirit guides. Why are the spirit guides here? I feel like it's all the way at the bottom. Let me shuffle some more. Why are the spirit guides here for Virgo? What's happening here? There we go. Okay, so they're here because you could be getting some information. This could be good news. It could have something to do about love. Um, and for some of you, it could just have something to do about harmony, relationships, and being in alignment. Also, a choice. You're getting good news about a choice being made. And I feel like this is definitely going to go in your favor. This is talking about a focused action, fast pace, alignment, and travel. Yes, so I feel like you're going to get some good news. And we got the card over here. That news is coming. So here's the news coming in right here. You're about to get some good news. So look forward to it. It's going to be good. For some of you, it could have something to do with love. But for others, it's just good news, harmony. For some of you, your gods are here because as, while you're getting this good news and while things are going for you, there's a snake right here in the corner watching jealous mad and plotting so be careful okay and for a lot of you this has something to do with business all right but you are going to get some good news and that's why your guides are here to protect you to provide you with strength making sure that you're focused okay making sure that you're determined and knowing that you're stronger than you thought you were that's beautiful i love it okay Virgo, I really feel like, is there anything um, blocking my Virgo that Virgo needs to know about spirit? Anything that Virgo needs to know about that could be blocking their blessings or this positive energy coming in? Is there anything my Virgo needs to know about? Show me clearly. Empathy. Making sure you're seeing both sides of the situation. Baby, <laughs> you see this abundance. Positive relationships. I am attracted to those who serve my higher good. So you're going to be making new acquaintances. I feel like somebody that you meet could be significant here because it's going to lead you to a lot of relationships. This could even be your soul tribe, steady growing, and you're in it, okay? You're surrounded by a lot of people who love you, who are like minded, who are positive like you are. So that's perfect energy. All right, empathy. So you want to make sure that you're using your empathy, being open to see both sides of a situation. This is going to help balance your heart chakra and this is going to help get you through whatever situation that is challenging or whatever this friend that your guides are protecting you from is trying to do. All right, because you got the fox and a dog here, a big old mean looking dog. All right, even though the dog look kind of cute, but I think he's supposed to be, you know, scary. And you're protected from this. This dog, I feel like their bark is bigger than their bite, whoever this is. They got a lot of rah, 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 and whatever, okay? Doubt. It says, I release the need to know all the answers. So Spirit is saying, release the need to control everything and let the divine work in your favor. Baby, you got this abundance here. So somebody is definitely loose their money, honey. I like when Peach say that. 
I heard it and I love that slogan. So this is what I'm feeling. <laughs> Peach McIntyre says that, yes. And I like it, okay? So look, abundance. It says, I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality and you are, all right? So remember that. All right, my lovies, that is your reading for today. I'm sending you love, light, and positive energy as always. I love you. Thank you for liking, subscribing, tell a friend to tell a friend we lit, okay? And I will see you on the next video. Bye, my loves. Bye, Virgo. <laughs>